All right, so we're gonna make this ugliness once again uh, look like this here in the middle for our home component. Now notice there is a graphic here, so we're gonna have to import uh, from the project files uh, in a clouds.jpg in an assets folder. All right, so let's go and do that real quick before we start working on our home JS component. So within uh, this source folder, we're going to create a new folder called assets. And here Visual Studio Code allows you to right click. We can reveal an explorer and I'm going to simply from the project files, which you can download clouds.jpg. Okay, so now let's head on over to our home JS. And again, this is very straightforward. The only thing we're going to be doing here is just defining properties for our heading and subheading, which are right here and here. And the only reason I'm doing that is just to show you basic interpolation. Um, and so we did that with Vue.js, so I want to show you how to do it here as well in React. Uh, so just to define those two properties real quickly, um, very simple. All we're going to do is right after inside of render, we're going to put let heading equals soaring to new heights, and then also let subheading, and we just have some lorem ipsum text here. Very simple. All right, so we'll save that. Now, I I already did the HTML for this in the view, so they would be rather redundant for me to go through that. Again, if you want to see that whole process of you know how to structure these columns and the layout based on the Balma CSS framework, then just go ahead and watch uh, the view section of that because when even when it comes to angular I'm not going to retype all that stuff so I'm going to paste in just the hero section I uh, which is this bit of HTML right here all right so for our hero section if I go ahead and save this and we take a look at the browser we will now see that I uh, we have soaring to new heights now it doesn't really look like our mock-up simply because of two reasons well first uh, we don't have our CSS set up um, for this home JS. So let's do that real quick uh, just so that we can actually see it looking more consistent with our mockup. So import home.css, save it. We'll create a home.css file or SAS file rather. Let's just head on over. Actually, I have a, a SAS file already off screen on a separate project. Um, so I'm just going to copy and paste that in real quickly. So again, this is all consistent with what we did with Vue. And again, if you want to see me hand typing all this stuff out, go back to that early por part, that portion in the course and save this. And now, there we go. Now it's mu looking a lot better in terms of uh, uh, being consistent with the prototype that we did. All right. So now let's uh, focus on this content here. So I'll simply just paste in the rest of that. So we'll go back to our home JS. And after this section right here, I'm going to paste in that. Oops, I pasted in the wrong uh, content one second. There, just pasted it again. All right, I'm going to save that and we'll go back to our Content and here we go. Uh, one thing that's looking problematic is the font. It's not actually using our right font. Let me get this in our index.css, uh, see if that helps fix the issue or not. All right, there we go, much better. All right. All right, so the final section here is gonna be with our fact page and getting that working. And we're gonna use the Axios uh, HTTP client library, which we used in Vue, and I wanted to show how to use it here in React to grab from a public API um, just some mock um, fictional you know, question and answers for a fact page. All right, I'll see you then.